inside of my chest Has a hole as big as the one in my pocket I might have kissed you wearing a bulletproof vest But hell, you kiss like a rocket I'd be a teenage virgin Jerking off in my bedroom If I wasn't a 20 year old virgin that doesn't have a bedroom Hey, hey, hey Hey, 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 hey Who needs Kathleen Hannah Cause she doesn't think That girls can sing rock and roll Sing rock and roll songs But I don't think they got Bikini Kill Records in small town Wisconsin Record shops But that's where they need them Now more than ever so if there's girls still growing up in this world To believe they can't sing rock and roll I don't want to live in this world anymore All right now No, I don't want to live in this world anymore What's up, folks? <clears throat> I cleaned it. If you weren't on the Discord, I cleaned it. 100% tobacco. <clears throat> uh, I might put the hat on. I might. But, yeah, I didn't have it on for a second. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> uh, let's just start at the beginning. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, thank you, Aka. There you go. Oh, all right. I uh, just took a very small hit. Uh, new gear. You know, clean bong. So, figured I uh, take it easy on that first hit. See where we land. <laughs> oh, that's a nice vase. Uh, thank you, thank you, Amos. Yes, it is a it is a rather nice vase. Hmm. Why'd you stop, Aka? Um. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, dude, he spiked it. It's, it's, he used a lot of fucking cobalt. Yeah, when he's, when he, uh, blew that one out. Uh, nah, I just wanted to see where I landed first. Fuck his beast. No, after, after the, the, uh, the night of, um, Zomboid, I, I'm still, I'm still entirely too. There was, there was two nights that, um, 
I was entirely too stoned. Like entirely too stoned. All right, hang on, hang on. Give me one sec here. There we go. Um. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mm -mm. just take it easy on that. What's up, Papa John? Ah. Uh, so let's check. Let's everybody. Let's check. We're gonna go live. We're gonna see if we're gonna see if Tucker has noticed yet. Uh, Carlson. There we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's no one. Whoever's running that account still hasn't noticed. Whoever's running that account still has not noticed. For those of you who don't know what's going on, Tucker Carlson's Twitter got hacked and he hasn't noticed or whoever runs his account hasn't noticed for like 13, 14 hours. Yeah. This, this, this account has been like somebody just went in and did a subtle defacement and then fucked off. And it has been up and live since like 13 hours ago. No one's noticed. Like no one, he, they, they, his, his, whoever runs his account or him or whatever, no one's noticed. Caboose. Oh, I just saw it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 good. It's a really subtle touch. And yeah, like <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great. Uh Yeah, I I <laughs> I think it's great. Uh also, don't not just that the the Ukraine flag as well. <laughs> And the fully vaccinated. The fully vaccinated is a thing as well. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go to archive.org over here. And let me just grab Tucker Carlson's fucking Twitter URL here. And let's see. Um, let's see what it used to be. All right. So let's just go to. Yep. Here. This works. Hang on, let me check something. Why is nothing loaded? There we go. Okay, so it has been hacked for days. For days. Everybody, everybody, it has been hacked for days. We're, we're, now, we're now trying to figure out how long this has been up. Um, as of like last month, it was correct. Okay. So, Mar <laughs> fucking, what is this? Why is this just not fucking tell me? May 16th. All right. Jesus Christ. Okay. It has been, it has been changed for a while. Because I, I have over here the January 5th version. So at the beginning of this year, it was correct. It has been this way for a while now. Okay, this is a shit grab. Neil Breen follows Tucker Carlson. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that caboose. Um, it's been days. Do no, uh, uh, cup, cupcake. It's been weeks. It's been weeks. It, it hasn't been days. It's been weeks. Visibly hacked. They said in court that nobody reasonably would take Carlson seriously as a journalist. Yeah. Oh God. It, it, dude, sometimes the archive is slow as fuck. It just is what it is, man. All right. Try this again. Yeah. It, it, it's officially been weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cupcake. 
This all right. If we can get fucking something to load here. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's been this way for a long while. I have uh, I have over here uh, on my side monitor. I have January fifth of this year, and it is host of Tucker Carl here. I'll I'll fucking that that that's what is in chat is supposed to be his bio. Host of Tucker Carlson tonight weeknights uh, weeknights at eight p.m. Eastern at Fox News and new uh, new at Fox Nation streaming shows today. Original available now at uh, TuckerCarlson.com. Um, April 30th was still fine. So it is, it got hacked in May. It got hacked in May. That's, that's fucking, it's, it's been weeks. It's been like three plus weeks. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Only somebody noticed on Reddit, like today. Somebody noticed on Reddit today. It took like three plus weeks or some shit like that. For anybody to notice that Tucker Carlson's account was defaced. That's hilarious. I, you know, fucking hats off. Hats fucking off. Like, cheers to whoever did it. Cheers. Raspberry and green tea. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's a level of restraint that is... Mwah, that's Most of us would fuck with them. We'd send some DMs. We'd send some tweets. We'd fucking change the back banner. Most people would go big. Whoever that was has a real sensibility about them. I respect that greatly. That was that was a nice touch. That was a nice touch. That's a very crafty bio that they put together for a bunch of like lore and weaving reasons and a little good little couple of jabs in there. Nobody nobody fucking knows. Nobody fucking noticed for weeks. For weeks. Nobody noticed. <laughs> I wish this motherfucker had a radio call. Does he have a radio call-in show? Because I need to call into his show. I hate to fucking, like, end the gag, right? But the gag needs a fucking cherry on top. The gag needs somebody to call into fucking Tucker Carlson's radio show or some shit and be like, Hey, Tucker, your fucking Twitter, uh, Twitter bio has been defaced for, like, three weeks now, bro. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Not you, not us, you fucking loser. Nobody noticed that your Twitter bio had been hacked into face for like three plus weeks now. Dude, that's just, you're such a loser. Like nobody even fucking noticed. Like your team didn't notice. Don't you pay somebody to like manage your media presence, bro? How much you paying? Because you probably should get a discount. Like whatever, whatever you're paying, it's too much. I'll tell you that right now. Uh. Dude. Amorous? It's not it, it's not it's too subtle for that. Th those guys don't have that kind of subtlety. They don't have that kind of subtlety. Or I mean for real, if if Tucker's team did it, Okay, so this is the alternative, right? It hasn't been defaced. It hasn't been defaced. Yeah, like, that's the alternative. Either either somebody swung for the fucking moon, and I love it. I love it if they did. Or, that's his legitimate bio now. <laughs> Tech support, just so it's there, right? Um, just so it's there. If the, 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 the truly brilliant could analyze it, they'd see it, right? Um, yeah, yeah, like that or that is his legitimate Twitter bio. That Tucker Carlson has pronouns of they, them on his fucking bio, right? Like, I 
it, even if it was a dig, even if it was something like, even if it's malicious from his team, Tucker Carlson has his vaccination status and his preferred pronouns, which are they, them on his fucking Twitter bio. That's the alternative here. You know that, right? Like that's whether they're mocking someone or whether they're not Tucker Carlson, like if it's legitimate, if it actually is his team running it and that's his bio now, it has pronouns in it and a Ukrainian flag. I, I, to me, this feels far more like somebody is fucking with Tucker. Right? Like that's, that seems way more likely to me. <laughs> I know like, come on, like, which is, which is more likely Twitter fucking Tucker Carlson's Twitter account got defaced very subtly or Tucker Carlson has they, them pronouns. <laughs> Even if it's for a fucking joke, even if it's a fucking dig, right? That's a joke that you can't live down. Homie, you came out as like NB, basically. You came out as like preferred. Come on, man. <laughs> like, that's the fucking joke. This sounds like Gavin McGinnis shoving a butt plug up his ass to own the libs. That backfired. That backfired. Like, I get where he was kind of fucking, you know, ah, with it. Dude, homie, you shoved a butt plug up your ass to own the libs. You came out as non-binary to own the libs, right? Like that's, that's not how that plays in reality. <laughs> so either Tucker Carlson's bio has they, them pronouns in it, or somebody subtly defaced that fucking Twitter bio weeks ago. So... Take your fucking pick. Either way, I think it's hilarious. Uh, um, Rich, no, I mean, I haven't. I, I haven't seen anybody who had done it either. Uh, Sam Hyde level of mockery. I'm sure people who run Tucker account love Sam Hyde. I mean, I could see Tucker being dumb enough to think he's being clever. <laughs> well, then that's great. Tucker is Tucker Carlson is non-binary confirmed. Run with it. Run with it boys, girls and NB pals. Run with it. Tucker Carlson, you've got his fucking get a screen grab. Get his fucking just link to his account. Tucker Bar Tucker Carlson is non-binary confirmed. Done. Like it's right there on his fucking profile. Tucker isn't dumb, but Tucker doesn't run his goddamn Twitter account. That's what y'all are fucking. Tucker's not running his Twitter account. You shitting me? Yeah, yeah. Tucker Carlson registered a Twitter account. He uh, he had the, the confirmation code sent to his phone. And he, he, he typed in the confirmation code and set it up with Twitter and got his S, his fucking two, uh, two FA set up and everything. It's great. Yeah, no, no. Tucker Carlson set up his Twitter. Tucker Carlson isn't running his Twitter account, guys. His phone may be connected to his Twitter account, but his Twitter account is a part of like the Twitter uh, fucking dash panel thing. I have one for like the Kai's things in the Proudly Radical. Like it's a master panel that has all subsets of the organization's primary Twitter accounts within it for Twitter. You can manage all of this off of one, one singular interface. Um, so I'm sure his phone is connected to Twitter for when he wants to fucking, I don't know, do something, but... Tucker Carlson is not in charge of his Twitter account. That's not a thing. This is just not a thing. At small business level, that those changes happen. At Tucker Carlson media presence level, there's a fucking team in charge of that. Somebody's getting paid to do that. Like that's, that's, somebody's in charge of his fucking Twitter account. Um... He probably does have a Twitter account. It's just horny fox two three four five zero nine two nine two three eight or some shit. Um, I kind of doubt his phone is even connected. He probably calls someone when he wants to tweet it out. Yeah, his fucking his assistant, right, Beast? That's it's his assistant, Debbie or Pam or 
fucking Cherry or whatever her name is. Although he does seem the type that probably think a man is more competent, so he'd want like a young mind that he could mold and shape and mentor and do that sort of thing. But it's probably it's probably like a, a, a John or a Tim or a, a, a Bill, or, you know, good old fashioned American name or some bullshit pandering bullshit like that. Um, yeah. He'd met him through, you know, one of the college networks or he's somebody's nephew or something like that. It's usually how it works. So, you know, yeah, that's who was who would be handling that. Um, I don't know. I don't get the vi- I don't get that vibe from fucking Tucker, despite all of the bow tie and the goofy fucking like schoolboy fucking appearance. Um, I don't get that vibe from him. No, there's a lot of fucking conservatives that I'd be like, yeah, that what that dude's fucking meeting up in the sauna at the gym for sure, for sure, right? I never got that vibe from Tucker. He doesn't seem like one of the closeted ones. Paid? He's probably using an unpaid intern. I mean, it could be. It could be. Well, but that's that's who will relay it. Does having staff manage his account release him from accountability? Wait, never mind. Tucker Carlson's not accountable for anything. Yeah, no, he's not. No, no serious person. What's the court decision? What's the court ruling on that one? No serious person would ever like consider him a journalist or some shit like that. No reasonable person. No reasonable person. <clears throat> so, one way or the other, Tucker Carlson's fucking Twitter account has non-binary pronouns announcing their vaccination status and uh, the Ukrainian flag. Right? And, oh, I mean, you know. Nice elitist as well. Um, so, like, yeah. No, this is Tucker Carlson's actual account. This is Tucker Carlson. No, Burger Man. And it was done weeks ago. We don't know the nature of it. it one way or the other, this is fucked up. One way or the other, this is just hilarious. Um... If somebody defaced it, or whether this is his legitimate bio now, it doesn't fucking matter. One way or the other... Tucker Carlson's Twitter bio for weeks, for weeks, no one noticed. For weeks, no one noticed um, that his, he's got like fucking pronouns and shit. His, His vaccination status, like what the, what the actual fuck is going on? So. Um, fucking, all right, so, uh, Aspen, is the Aspen Institute known for stuff I should know? The Aspen Institute is, like, uh, a fucking, it's one of those fucking think tanks. It's funded hugely by, like, the, the, the Carnegie's, the Rockefeller's, the Gates, um, 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 I, um, the Saudis, um, there's a bunch of those fuckers involved in the Aspen Institute. It's been around since, like, the 70s or something like that. I don't know, fucking, maybe... Uh, maybe 50s it's been around for a while either way um it's your typical like right wing think tank um like you know yeah i i what's up non-binary um right away non-binary sees it immediately that's hilarious love you non-binary um This has been this way for weeks. And nobody fucking noticed. This is this is Tucker Carlson's account. It's got 5.2 million followers. It's at Tucker Carlson. It literally fucking the bio has been changed for weeks. As near as we can tell, May. Like May. It, it's we could go through it one by one and if somebody wants to do that they can um but april 30th it was his original bio his original bio cites the you know tucker carlson tonight and at fox news and at fox nation and his show um yeah sorry they there um yeah 
uh, Tucker, we, we have seen Tucker's actual bio last month. This, this month, this is Tucker Carlson's bio. And I don't care what speculation, what you say, like it could be a defacement. And if it's a subtle defacement, it's brilliant, but nobody has caught it. Um, the first mention of this was 13 hours ago on Reddit. Somebody got a screen grab and they're like, what the fuck is going on here? Right? So like if it's a subtle defacement, it's brilliant. Nobody noticed if it's from in team and it's like subversive, holy shit. Good on you. If it's, um, some sort of like right wing fucking hu attempt at humor, <clears throat> I've already compared it to Gavin McGinnis putting the butt plug up his ass to own the libs. This kind of humor doesn't doesn't land. It's not gonna land. Tucker Carlson came out as non-binary, y'all. So like, that's a thing. Whether it's a joke or not, it doesn't fucking matter. No, Tucker Carlson came out as non-binary. That's fucking, take it and run with it. This account is live. This is your, this is your proof. Tucker Carlson has they, them pronouns. You can use it in every fucking argument with any right winger, or anybody associated with Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is fully vaccinated and uses they, them pronouns. Here's his official account. <clears throat> here's an internet, uh, here's a Wayback Machine, archive.org, a uh, copy of this. You can see that three weeks ago, it was, it was also this as well. Gamers didn't know that. Um, if if it's a joke, lazy eyes. They openly put that he is in. Uh, he. He visits the Aspen Institute, uh, a frequent contributor to the Aspen Institute, which is a um, Gates Foundation funded organization, amongst other things, <clears throat> Saudis and Gates. So they're putting that right in his Twitter bio. They're like, hey, by the way, I hang out with the Saudis and Bill Gates all the time. Like, that's just a thing I love to do. Right. They put that right in the fucking profile. They also said, hey, I'm fully vaccinated, which is a sign of weakness amongst the people he manipulates on a regular basis um and then they used neo like neo these aren't neo pronouns but they used the uh singular person they them which is highly indicative of non-binary um so if it's a joke the joke is in essence hi Welcome to Tucker Carlson's show. Tonight, I'd just like to tell you that I fully support, uh, I fully support Ukraine in their, um, their fight for independence. I am non-binary, and from now on, I use they, them pronouns, and I like to hang out with Bill Gates and Saudi princes on a regular basis. I am a full elitist. I went to Harvard and Yale, after all. Um... <laughs> uh, no, it's just, a, it's a joke, everyone. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm going to clip you saying that like that's internet bait. No good writer, no good person with a PR team would ever try to land that because that's internet bait. I'm going to take out immediately you doing the, <laughs> it's a fucking joke punchline, whatever you have for that. I'm going to fucking clip you coming out as non-binary and I'm going to play that ad infinitum. It's going to be a meme. You know that, right? Like, it's going to be a meme. You're Tucker Carlson. You're meme bait. You coming out as non-binary is a fucking stupid move if it's a joke. If it's a, a malicious, bad faith attempt to, like, folk, poke fun at the left or some shit like that, there are far better ways to do that, and he does them on a regular basis. So, I... I... Even if it is a joke, I'm just saying, I think we've got more than what we need now. Oh, Jesus. 
maybe it's kind of like doing blackface for him. Like, look at me. I'm respecting pronouns. That I mean, maybe that bow tied balloon knot weirdo would do that. Did Gavin put a butt plug up his for, uh, his butt for real though? Wordy, do you not know this? Yeah, Gavin McGinnis shoved a fucking butt plug. He had a butt plug up his ass and like sh live on stream, man, to own the libs. I'm not kidding you. That's not like a a, 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 a distillation. These are his own words. To own the libs, he shoved a butt plug up his ass live on stream. I've seen the footage. Yeah. Like that's sometimes these guys try and land jokes that just are like, dude, you shoved a butt plug up your ass to own the libs, man. It didn't work. All that happened was you shoved a butt plug up your ass. No, it didn't land Aspen. It really didn't. It was a, it was a source of constant mockery for him. Yeah, it really, it just, it was just fuel. It was just ammo for the other side. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? I mean, everybody got to use it. Whether the joke is you're embracing, I love that you're embracing that side of yourself. Your anal ex exploration is important. Like he's a trad con type, right? Like it, prostate stimulation for some, uh, for, you know, even heterosexual men is uh, a valuable uh, portion of the sexual human human sexual experience. I'm happy that you're embracing a, a wider view of sexuality like that, Gavin. Right? Even if you t come at it from homophobic or open and embracing, it was just ammo. It didn't work. And so, yeah, this dude, this is like the Tucker Carlson coming out as non-binary for a joke. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious, but for none of the reasons that those idiots would think it would be. No, we'd have an instant meme, legendary meme. Um, <laughs> first, well, fine. The first time was to own the lives. What about all the other times after that? Um, the only humor that conservatives are capable of is the unintentional humor. That is true. Prostate massages, uh, massages are based. Uh, he did it wrong too. Damn near prolapse. It was funny as hell. <laughs> on, this, uh, on that same note, Richard Spencer recently said there's nothing more intimate than anal sex. Not a joke. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, I, I need links. The fluoride got to them. Dude, yeah, po hold on. Like, I'm going to go looking. Like, that's... Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to need you to fucking... <laughs> Why is there a Richard Spencer anal porn video category? What the fuck? All right, I'm going to need you to find that for me, Papa John. <laughs> I'm going to need that information. I <laughs> stepped it in the water that's turning the chuds gay. I got you. Hold up. All right, nice. <laughs> Richard Spencer got punched by that anti uh, anti fascist years ago and became a bottom for men. Oh, uh, I mean, we can't talk about it without watching it, right? It's it's fucking. Neo Nazi. They kind of hate me, actually. They those people don't like me. Are you like the hipster version of the Neo Nazi movement? It's uh, Pepe's become kind of a symbol. Whoops. Oh. That dude, that dude really slipped. Do you see? I mean, that's, that was very kind of Richard Spencer to catch that man like that. With That was, um, that was very kind of him. I mean, that, that shows what kind of stand-up gentleman Richard Spencer is, catching that man's uh, uh, whole arm with his face like that to break his fall. You saw how that, that man was. I mean, he was falling forward at an increased rate of speed there. And clearly, there was some ice or water or something. He slipped. He slipped very quickly. Um, and Richard Spencer was fucking... He was there. He was aware. He was on the ball, and he just... Put that, put his face right in front of that man's fist and caught his, uh, caught his full weight, so that man did not trip and fall. He is, he is a very kind and you know compassionate fellow citizen in that regard. Um. Uh. 
Uh, catching fists first than catching them dicks. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. Boom. I feel you though. I feel ya. I'm going to pull it before it gets on the fucking, on the screen. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I just, I just keep refreshing this Tucker Carlson Twitter account. <laughs> like, is it ever going to is it ever gonna update like are they when when what is it what's gonna happen like, how long is this gonna go on um let's see let's just let that okay all right we'll just let that load a bit um <clears throat> Okay, so May 2nd it was still that way. It was still the original way. So it it changed somewhere around the beginning of this month, sometime. But fucking archive.org is just so amazingly slow time sometimes for stuff that fucking you, you fucking somebody else check May 11th. Uh, let's see. Her end. Snapshot. There we go. Um. Uh, okay. Pure Schadenfreude. Okay, so it was May 11th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amorous. Um. Nope. This is what I want. Okay, so yeah, this is the OG. So this is May 11th. This is his original. Um, you know what? I'll fucking... Okay. And then May 12th was the new one. Boom's not timed out. Um... Let's see. So it was May 11th. I'm uh, sorry. It was somewhere between May 11th and 12th that um, Tucker. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Let's look at it. All right. Let's see. What is it? Oh, it's uh, 17 it's minutes. It's very young. Oh, it's very, very. Um... No uncontagious which is why it's quite worrying and it's sort of perhaps even says something quite important that we've got right. cases so we've got now 20 at the moment there's um, at the last time i checked there's 34 cases in portugal there's 50 cases in spain there's 20 cases in the uk 22 in canada and a, a lot of the cases that are in some of the cases anyway that are in europe seem to have come from canada they've been to canada so something's happened in canada uh, and 143, two in Australia, and 143 in, in total. And I, it's um, an interesting testimony, I guess, to what's going on. That you, One, we've been locked down for two years, so people haven't been going to Africa and stuff and bring, bringing things about. So if right. there was going to be an outbreak of any kind of um, Ill, uh, disease that hadn't been around for a while, then it's going to happen now because we've, we've been in lockdown. Secondly, I want... Papa John, how far in is this fucking clip of him saying it? <laughs> how much how much of him am I going to have to look at? He's on Twitter? Minute 17? Alright. Fuck you. Like, wait a second, Richard Spencer has a Twitter account? There is a single case at all. So there's a case in Boston the other day. So it's, it's reached America and there are actually many more cases in Europe. It seems to have, this is a Central and West African virus that creates a really terrible skin disease. However, most people recover on uh, 99 out of 100 or so. And it has a much lower contagion rate than, than, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, it's very uncontagious. It's very, very, uh... um, no, 
Like, that's... Yeah, I just watched through it, man. Any more cases in Europe, it seems to have... This is a Central and West African virus that... So, I didn't know. Um, alright, so... There's the May 11th. All right, so yeah, there's there's the OG fucking bio that changed tomorrow, apparently. Um. Oh, there we go. That's the May 11th to May 12th. The U.S. is also calling monkeypox a disease conducted by skin to skin contact to have elevated risk for such factors as being gay. Should you not? Um, I saw, well, I saw the, the CDC announcement that it's not a gay, gay disease and that sort of thing. Um, I kind of, I kind of like, we're the only ones. It also it also took us two weeks to notice. I I mean Amaris is fucking. I don't go to Tucker Carlson's Twitter account, so I mean you'd be ama- amazed. That, like you know, it would you'd expect us to it to slip by us. Um, them though. But uh, yeah, um, I was amused by the the just sort of the idea that like because you know it seems to be spreading for like you know some raves over in Europe and like yeah the only communities having fun are the gay dudes <laughs> it's like hey it spread by skin to skin contact and it's like everybody looks at each other and goes god who's touching each other in times like these and the gay dudes are all just like what? I'm sorry what oh shit I was at a rave um, what were y'all talking about It is sort of amusing to me. Uh, could be the end of the world and the gay community would be like, let's have a party. Um, Tucker Carlson now at elevated risk from monkey pox. Um, yeah. Oh, dude, monkey pox. Are you kidding me? That's a funny one. Dude, that's COVID-19 is just, you're like, what the fuck is that? COVID-19, Jesus Christ, right? Monkey pox? Dude, that's some shit we can wrap our heads around. Monkey pox is some shit that works in our brain. That's inherently funny. Yeah. <laughs> Joke's on the pox. I'm gay and never leave the house. Can't get me fuckers. Um... People, the NHS in the UK recommending recommending people get smallpox vaccines. Jesus Christ, you're right. All things considered, might want to actually fuck. You don't want to be you don't want to be case zero, right? Or case case one, right? Fuck it. You could be like, dude, holy shit. Uh, oh, I believe you. Here's the. Uh, I'm sure this is the recommendation, right? Ah, fuck off. Yep, there we go. <laughs> what is monkey pox? I mean, I gotta tell you, I know motherfuckers that, like, they wouldn't even notice this. <laughs> Also, there's a, a reporting bias with the uh, the queer community because we're far more in touch with doctors usually. We get checked for stuff all the time. We're under care usually. Um, yeah, it is. I've I've spoken about this before um, about like how women can't get like some women can't get like all sorts of like sexual health treatments because 
um, that would indicate that they're, you know, sluts and why would you be, why you shouldn't be doing that? Like they get paternalistically spoken down to gay men on the other hand, they expect us to be the filthiest, sluttiest motherfuckers on the planet. And so they're like right there with it. They're like, what do you want? Full STD panel done. Like you, you fucking, you want swabs done your analysis done fucking let's check it. Right. So yeah, uh, the, the queer community is, um, a lot of the time very well in touch with their doctors. So yeah, there could also be a reporting bias in that, that like the, the reason it popped up in the gay community first is because we're the ones who actually see our doctors. Um, so, um, I did have an arm scar, but I think it went away. Uh, this is why I will order my tests online. Yep. Uh, it's a bit more expensive, but it's also lacking sexism. Aw. But the sexism is the the special, that extra little nuance, the, the, the je ne sais quoi in the background, Alex. What do you, like, what's, what's, a, what's a doctoral visit without some condescension and some paternalistic behaviors? I mean, that's, I just, I wouldn't know what to do without it. <laughs> uh, it's true though um yeah it, it's you know yeah yeah wordy worth doing non-binary smallpox vaccines 85 percent effective in preventing monkeypox suggests studies suggest all right well smallpox vaccine next jesus fucking christ uh, I do need to go touch him with my doctor. Yep. Uh, sexism is the thing that likely get me to rest it because I'll smack a bitch. Um, my experience with the queer community is also most encouraging for non-queer folk to go get tests. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it just fucking do do the thing. Right? Um, yeah. The, the, I fucking, I've spoken about my, uh, one of my doctors. Um, his PA is just absolutely, I hate, I hate her. I hate her. I, I, I will see her because I love this guy. He, he legitimately saved my life and like years ago. Um, and I trust him like inherently, but he's so overworked. He's so broken. He's just, he just works his ass to the bone and like he is gonna die on his feet, like in a hospital. He's gonna like stroke out or fucking have a heart attack one day. Like I just know it. Like he's just the type, and he's gonna just work himself to death. And so like any like any appointment that I can just I'm like it's okay. I don't I don't need to see him. Like I'll see her. Like just one less person tugging at his fucking you know coat. I just you know, but I I hate her. <laughs> She's so condescending. She's such a fucking just absolute condescending twat. Um, she'll baby talk you. She'll baby talk you. It's so obnoxious. Fucking. If anything go has anything gone up there? Because if you do, I need to I need to get you this swab. It goes in your bum bum, and then I'm not kidding you. She said bum bum to me. This is a fucking medical professional. And she's talking to me like this. And are you sure? Like, bitch, I'm not lying to you, okay? Just fucking... I fucking hate a lot of medical per professionals. But it's what happens when you're the son of a nurse. Um, Aspen, I'm about due for the next booster. Um, they're saying, uh, fucking... But I also just got to go for getting over COVID. Probably okay for a minute. Well, we'll see. <laughs> UK have already started mass producing smallpox shots and rolling out the stores. I swear I had a scar from smallpox vaccine, but it's gone or freckles hit it. I'm questioning myself now and examining myself. <laughs> I'll be over. Uh, welcome back, smallpox and family. Capitalism didn't think you were worth anything. Um, they're saying that pox, uh, monkey monkeypox has uh, community spread in the U uh, UK. Has anyone touched your bum bum recently, guy? Yeah, it's fu I, I hate her. Look, I despise. Fuck it. Just shut the fuck up. Uh... Are you sure how exactly would want to have anything go up there or not? No. It, it, Aka, it's it's not whether you didn't know or not. It's whether you're 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 embarrassed and you're not confessing it. That's that's it, she's it's it's are you lying to me? Is what that is. 
and it's like you know f especially for somebody like me right like i'll i'll fucking i'll say it into a room full of fucking people like i don't care um you like in the confines of a like you know a professional atmosphere with you know a doctor or a physician any medical personnel like that sort of like medical question. It's like, dude, I'll talk to anybody about that. Like literally I'll just have that conversation if you want to have that conversation. And it's like, dude, you need to know this information. Bitch, I'm not lying to you. Like stop doing the thing. Medical professionals just automatically assume you lie a lot of the time. It's a fucking thing in house. Everyone lies. They just assume it. Um, my mom's a traveling nurse and gets to complain to me about the incompetency. Hmm. Um, let's see. Stop doing the smallpox scar in the U.S. in 1972 unless you work with a lab with specimens. Hmm. They put a million different shots in me when I was a toddler, so I assume smallpox was included. Dude, they wear off, Lori. They wear off. All right, let's see. When, um, let's see, be over. You're, you're not a youngin. We, we stopped. Yeah, there's no routine vaccination um, from the public, uh, by, by, uh, in the public uh, at this point. So I don't know exactly when that fucking took. Um, but if you did get a small pack, smallpox vaccine for long-term protection, this is straight CDC here if you want to see here. Um, you need to get a booster vaccination regularly to stay protected from smallpox. You have to get a, a booster vaccine every three years. Um, so wordy because we eliminated it. We, we, we got rid of smallpox. That's that's for the for the effect for the most of uh, for the uh, for effectively for the majority of the world um, speaking. Yeah, we we eliminated smallpox like that's that's just a thing. Nice tech support. Yeah. So like it only exists in stockpiles of stuff. So there's no like, yeah, there's no reason to keep vaccinating against a disease that we put a fire break in. Um, yours was 50 plus years ago. Then yeah, no, be over here. Dude, you're not, you're not protected against smallpox, which means you're not protected against monkeypox. Um, yeah, you should, uh, non-binary. That's smart for you. Fucking get all of the stuff for sure. Uh, okay. Get Tucker Carlson off my fucking top screen. They fucking get the peanut butter. Um, <laughs> there's maybe a little bit left. Mm. Um, if I have a chicken pox vaccine and a smallpox vaccine, it would be okay. The smallpox actually would be useful for the monkey pox. The chicken pox is a whole other ball game. That's a whole other virus. Yeah. Just because we call it pox, it, it doesn't, the viruses are different. It's just that they're skin lesions, pox. That's what it's named after. Yeah, chicken is herpes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why um, if you've had chicken pox, um, you can get cold sores. 
that's that's a herpes outbreak. Ooh, that's a rough time to get it, Puka. For sure. Yeah, you you want that younger if you do get it. Um. So, yeah, that's just one of those things. All right. So that's how I got my damn cold sores. Yes. Yeah. You hit chicken pox. Um. Yeah, man, it sucked. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um, oh yeah, boom, uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen it, um, got young but severe, like in my throat and shit, oof, um, yes, I, I don't even know what I want to fucking say, oh, Jesus, yeah. You know, delusion, delusionary parasitosis. Just looking at that. Um, <clears throat> Never had my chicken pox to your negative. I had. Oh, Jesus, Lexi. Oh, that's fun. Um, hmm, just saying, be over. Uh, anything else we should spread? Uh, binary exploitation expertise as far as wide as possible, forcing the choice between minimum income with dignity or having hungry hackers. Kind of rare acceleration that's gonna be behind. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, it's not a great, but it's generally, generally, gen well. Yeah, it's not a group you want to go hung want to go hungry in the information age. That's for sure. Those are some pressures you don't want in your society. Um. Yeah, yeah, Caboose, I got the vaccine as well. Um, wordy, <laughs> Jesus, wordy. Good luck. Oh, Papa John, when is it? No worries, no worries, man. When is it? Oh, also, I need the link again. <laughs> I'm not going searching in the history. Um, give me the link in the time. Because I want to see it. I still do. All right. Link. And what? Good morning. All right. So what time is it? What am I looking for? Today in the news, Wells Fargo is now in the negative and nobody knows where the money went. 22 minutes? Alright. Well, the whole... It does go down. Don't know. Either way, I'm starting here. It can, things that can be easily cured with antibiotics, like TB. Right. And um, and TB was basically stamped out in the what seven, early 70s or the late 60s. And so we stopped worrying about TB. And now with the rise of immigration from the third world, TB is back. Now, fortunately... Well, there's another aspect of this that is uh, a bit unsettling, is that there is a... The, the very high percentage of people suffering from monkeypox are gay men. So that adds another level to it because monkeypox seems to be spread. It's not exactly like a, an airborne virus, you know, coronavirus was, but or is, um, but it, it seems to be spread through intimate contact. And I guess there's nothing more intimate um, than anal sex, as they say. That really sounded terrible. Uh, but, uh, okay. I need a clip of that though. For real. All right. Hold on a sec. I'm going to just, I'm going to grab that. Here we go. I'm just going to 
download that really quickly. Oh. Oh, I kind of want to do show that. I kind of want to show that though. Um, thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa John. Yeah, that was that was uh, sex in the bum bum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that the, the greater context makes it make sense. At least what he was trying to go for. Jesus Christ. Um, but I think I feel I feel a lot of you haven't seen smallpox. You've never seen a photo of smallpox before, and you need to see a photo of smallpox because there's a reason that it was the plague of humanity and that we work to cure it. There you go. That's what a smallpox infection looks like. Yeah. It's fucking rough. Yeah. So this, this, this shit was um, <clears throat> with us for a very long time. Um, so, you know, why are we vaccinating? Why vaccines are evil fucking vaccines are the work of the globalists, right? No vaccines put an end to millennia old suffering. Fuck you. What's up, AJ? <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm like, fuck you. What's up, AJ? Yeah, polio as well. Yeah, polio is another one. <laughs> Vaccines are the devil's semen. If COVID looked like that, maybe people get vaxxed. Vanity over dignity. Oh, God. You're right, though. Be over. You're right. We all know you're right. Fuck. Yeah, Aka. Yeah, we're good. You don't need to see it. Um, ah, no worries, Rich. No worries. I feel like that's what the night shows are for. That's what the after dark shows are for. It's for us to get fucking high and drunk and just fucking, yeah, we're still going to talk about some fucked up shit, but, oh, that's right, Papa. Good call. Good call. Good, good fucking call. Oh, wait. There we go. Hmm. All right, let's finish that bowl. Oh, ah, God. And so he brought it up earlier. Earlier, Yes, I saw the fucking school shooting. Oh, Rich, it's fucking... Yeah, it's... Dude, it's, at, it's midnight. It's like 12.42 here for me. So... Yeah. This is after midnight for me. Uh, out of your gummies. Aw, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about the latest school shooting. Um, I don't know. Uh, what was? I don't know the motivations of this one. Does anybody know? Like, I, I didn't see shit for shit. Like, all I saw was 18-year-old shoots up a fucking elementary school. Like, was there motivations? Oh, nice. Yes. Tech support. I approve. Tech support. You need to bring me some of those handmade Chinese dumplings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Texas is sort of the OGs at this with the fucking clock tower. Right-wingers questioning his immigration status. Of course they were. Of course they were. All right. Oh, shit. Finish that off. Yeah, okay. So Exel hasn't seen shit for shit either. Alex, yeah, haven't seen any. Yeah, I saw he killed his grandma. Um good luck getting anything out of Texas other than racism. Um Yeah. I, I you know, cause is Oh yeah. Um, yeah, Che, we had another one. Uh, it was a fucking school. Um, kids, 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 
kids, kids, kids. Uh, Eighteen year old went into an elementary school and fucking killed fourteen kids, three staff, um, and his grandma. Um, so yeah, grandma got got first and that sort of shit, and then down the line. Nineteen? Are we up to? Jesus Christ! I don't even fucking know. I thought I saw fourteen last time, but don't know. Nineteen kids, two staff, and grandma. There you go. Nah. Nah, Che. Fucking Jones is going to keep his fucking mouth shut on this one, probably. Um, okay. His grandma survived. Oh, good honor. Tough old broad. 19 as of 12 hours ago. All right. Uh, it started at 14, increased later. Yeah, all I know is I woke up this evening to fucking school shooting. He's like, yay. Another day in America. Um... Problem with this is, is this is going to push the news cycle. This is going to push away from Buffalo because this is a different. This is a different shooting. You, you know, and I don't. I don't mean that in like yes, clearly, Kai. This is you know that bu- Buffalo happened in Buffalo, and this happened in um, fucking Texas, right? Elvade. Um, either way, um, this is a different type of shooting. Okay, now I know for the Europeans, this is going to be completely like, we have different types of mass shootings in America. There's, there's, there's different types. And this is of a different type. The Buffalo one was a race war, civil war, insurgency act. The, the Texas one seems to be a, a mentally disturbed young man who did damage to society. So, like, this is a different shooting. Oh, America has a political context to every shooting. Yes, we do. Uh, Chads are spreading rumors that the perpetrator of the shooting was one trans girl and another usually uh, Latina. Yeah. This is one of the more traditional ones. Yes, this is one of the more traditional ones. Um, so... Yeah, like, you, you have to understand that this is... This is gonna push the news cycle... Um, how to say you have a problem with mass shootings without saying you have a problem with mass shootings. Um, God, we have a traditional style school shooting. Yes, we do, Caboose. We have a traditional style of school shooting in this country. This is the traditional style of school shooting, I think. We haven't seen his motives yet, but this feels like disturbed young man shoots up a school, right? This is the traditional style of school shooting in this country. Buffalo was an entirely different thing that is going to, look, don't get me wrong, we need to address the school shootings but that's a mental health crisis and that's a long-term solution the the nazis knocking at our door are sort of a a a clear and present danger now sort of thing and so it needs addressing like now um so like, I, I hate to speak about, like, it this way, but this requires a sort of, like, a physician's touch. Like, this just requires triage. And it's rough. Triage is rough. No, talk to any medical personality. Uh, Polka, sorry. Talk to any medical personnel. Like, the triage, anybody who worked a war or a medic's tent, triage sucks. Triage sucks. Like, it really does. Like, you are going to decide that, yeah, that person's too far gone. Put them in first. We can save that person. We can't save that person. Triage sucks. Somebody dies. But this, I do believe we need a triage situation here for this this sort of thing. And I think the Buffalo thing is a more pressing, Che, you're giving out the tags. Yep. Triage is rough. I think this requires that sort of touch. I really do. I think the Buffalo thing is a more pressing issue. And the solution to the school shooting issue is a long-term solution that's not going to get implemented overnight. And we can't even get to it with these crazy fucks in our way. These crazy right-wing Christian nationalist motherfuckers that we're dealing with. Fucking ethno-nationalist racist pieces of shit that we have to, like, that we're literally fighting now. Like, it's 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 full-on at this point. This is crazy. Um, I think that that's the pressing issue. I think that that's the thing that needs to focus. And unfortunately... Um, the 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 um <clears throat> the Texas shooting is I mean it's 
fuck, you know, 19 kids dead, two staff, a fucking grandma shut up. Like, that's fucking, that's, that's rough. But it's going to unfortunately push the Buffalo thing out of the consciousness of the public because Americans have limited space and it will go right down the memory hole. Yeah. It, it's just going to become one in another line. I've already heard... Um, I've already heard uh, from my stepfather the attempt to conflate the two. The, there's already a, a, a media narrative because he doesn't come up with this shit on his own. He just he's a he just parrots. Um, so somewhere out there that that's that's a talking point. They've already latched on to that this that Buffalo was in essence just another disturbed young man. And I mean, I suppose there's a generous argument to be made there that uh, the Buffalo shooter was a disturbed young man, but not in that way. That what they're trying to conflate is just it's a mental health issue. And if we just, you know, if we addressed like why people are fucked up in the head, blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, we do. We have the attention span of hyperoptic pu puppies. That is absolutely true, Alex. Um, Disturbed by one Tucker Carlson and a few other notable names. Um, it's always a mental health issue until you aren't white. Then it's your mama raised you wrong. Where are the parents? What's going on in your culture and your society? Why are you guys have such a fucking legacy? Of, yeah. Yep. Yep. We had the Buffalo shooting, and then as soon as the SBC thing came out, quickly switched. Mm. Uh, it was a small, tightly knit, mostly Mexican town about one hour from the border. Oof, that's rough. At least at least they're tightly knit. It's going to hurt more because they're tightly knit, but they'll rebound better because they're tightly knit. They'll have the, the social structure. The fabric of the community will be there to support one another. So it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt worse. It's going to hurt worse, but they'll be able to survive it better. Um, <clears throat> Excel, yeah, funding mental health services is a long term thing. Like, dude, trust me, I, I, I 100%. Like, this is George Carlin. George Carlin had a very amazing line, but who's got time for solutions? Right? Who's got time for solutions? Ah, Southern Baptist Convention. Thank you. Um, yeah, who's got time for solutions? Right. We could do this. Right. You know, it, he, he would always like, you know, we could do this, this and this and this. And they just would downstream fix this. But who's got time for solutions? Right. Like that, that sort of thing is how I think about the, the mental health school shooter crisis in the U.S. is like, yeah, like we know how to fix it. Don't get me wrong. Like nobody's fucking we know how to fix it. But in this political climate, that's a multi-step solution. That's going to be stretched over a temporal period, right? It's going to take some time. So, like, pfft, who's got time for solutions, right? We need to figure out how to fucking band-aid this shit because it's sinking fast, motherfucker, right? And so, like, whether you're taking it from an anarchist perspective or even a shit lib perspective, at the end of the day, like, it's like, holy shit, like, we got some shit going on. And it's time to start triaging. On Friday... <laughs> In Friday in Texas, Jesus, I love this fucking country. This country is psychotic. On Friday in Texas, the NRA is having their annual legislative meeting with guests Trump, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, Senator John Cornyn, Senator Ted Cruz, Representative Dan Crenshaw, uh, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, and South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Uh, You don't want solutions because they take time and benefit the next guy. We need something I can claim I did for the next election. Yep. I uh, had an argument about Elon pulling out of feeding the hungry because Elon found out he did too much work and pouring money on it. Did anybody see? Um, God, uh, AJ, especially AJ, um, the the billionaires on ISS story. Um. Oh God, Truth Social. This is the oh, almost dragged it up there. All right, Truth Social. What you got? Um, yeah. Okay. So this is this is a kind of amazing, right? Like here. Let 
Yeah. <laughs> some some hand holding. We're being generous. We're being generous today, everybody. We're just, we're just being generous. They're billionaires after all. They needed some hand holding. Yes, because they went up, went up in space thinking it's like a fucking ride in their Bentley. And the astronauts are like, bitch, you gotta work. Like, oh, but I paid 50, we paid $55 million to come up here. Yeah, you paid $55 million to come up here and work. Didn't you know what it is to be on the International Space Station? Did no one inform you? Bitch, welcome to work. This isn't a fucking, this isn't a fucking tourist destination. This is a floating governmental, multinational, global fucking effort to further science, exploration, and technology. This isn't a fucking, like, this isn't Fiji, bitch. Welcome to the ISS. We all gotta work. And the billionaires are sitting there going, wait, what? I gotta do what now? Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Fucking brilliant story. Um, okay, so I can't see whatever that Truth Social link was because I'd have to log in and I don't have a Truth Social account. It's, I mean, I could, I probably should, like, wait, sign in, create an account. All right, fine. Let's do it. Uh, I was born May whatever, 1939. That's like your demographic, right? Yeah, May 1st, 1939. All right, let's get you a fucking email here. Uh, temp mail. No, they seriously didn't know how non binary. Like, they were just like, wait, what? What's a what now? I right. give me a sec. That makes me very happy. Billionaires need to work. Yeah, no, like, it, it, they legitimately had no fucking idea what was going on. Fuck it, I'm oversharing. Fried tube time. Yes! Tech support, love it. What? Is True Social like not a web based thing? It's not, is it? Your email has been verified. Why can't I log in then? Oh, they asked for the email before they even asked for the registration information. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a fucking app only. That's fucking lame. Seriously? Anyway, I don't care. I don't care. I don't fucking know. Either way, I've lost interest, whatever it was supposed to be. Um, <laughs> put what into what? It's like a what? What's USB? I don't know, right? Oh, uh, wait, my dad is hardcore feminist, pro choice, pro gay. <laughs> Anna was born. It's <laughs> it'd be over interesting. <laughs> oh, I did boomers. Uh, $55 million to work. Yeah, no. And thanks for that follow, Manif uh, Sir Manifesto. Um, yeah, th th that just shows the sort of disconnect. It shows the disconnect. Um, oh, it's a Good Samaritan law. Yeah. Yeah, Rich. It's a good, uh, German Good Samaritan law. Um, there's this story that Kathy Griffin used to talk about um, She when she got to hang out um, with Cher. Like she, she made friends with Cher and she was hanging out with her, right? She said, finally Cher invites me to her, her place, like her main house, her building. Her, um, and she goes, you know, I go over there and I, you know, she does the whole build up the story of driving over there and she gets there and, you know, she's hanging out with Cher for like a bunch of hours and they're in, she's in her bedroom. She's in her closet. She's like, I'm having like a girl's night with Cher. And so... They, she, she looks at her at one point, they're sitting on Cher's bed. She looks at her and she's like, let's order a pizza. Let's get a pizza. But their like assistants weren't with them. They were just hanging out. And Cher looks at Kathy Griffin and goes, bitch, I'm Cher. I don't know how to order a pizza. And Kathy tells her audience, 
I've had an assistant since the 90s. She's like, I don't know how to order a pizza either. So she called her assistant Tiffany on the phone and said, how do I order a pizza to Cher's house? This is Kathy Griffin and Cher money level. Okay, this is Kathy Griffin and Cher level. What do you think a billionaire is like? Who grew up rich, right? Think of those motherfuckers. They literally have no idea how to interact with the world. They don't. This is, this is, this is the original argument I had with one of my longtime buddies who went the full fucking alt-right pipeline that I had to cut out. This is literally years ago, decades. Like, this is the first fucking argument we ever had that I was like, no, we're going to walk through this. I said, you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Billionaires are insanely isolated. I said, the problem is not the billionaire. The problem is all of the middlemen. Because I promise you, if you took away a billionaire's staff, they are the most impotent, ignorant motherfuckers walking around. They have no idea how to interact with the world. They completely lose track of everything. They, they have no touch point. They will just be walking up to somebody on the street and offering them cash, basically, and being like, will you just do this for me? Because I don't know how. how where do clothes come from? Um, the billionaire has their assistant to call their chef to come make them a pizza. Yeah, basically, Beast. Yeah, they're fucking insane. Being a normie talker sound, kind of sounds like a sweet gig. Dude, for two, it is actually kind of a sweet gig. Um, concierge is here in Las Vegas, fill a lot of the same gap and like the high end ones. One of the buddies in the crew, basically. Um, he was one of those. It's where a lot of the fucking insider knowledge for the city comes from is actually um, Adam. He, um, yeah. Being a high, a well-paid concierge that like works directly with like sweet, sweet uh, people who stay in the suites and like the presidential suite and stuff like that, being their personal concierge, yeah. It's like, I want this. Cool, I'll make it happen. I mean, it's one banana, Michael. What could it cost? Ten dollars? Exactly. Exactly. They're completely isolated. They're completely insulated against reality. They have no concept of it. If you take away all of the, the middlemen, billionaires are nothing. They're literally nothing. They're, they're completely impotent entities within our society. It's only because the, the, they have people working for them. They're incompetent. And Grand Budapest Hotel is one of my favorite movies. Not sorry. I've been meaning to see... Um, I know it's not, it, it kicked off, I know it's, you know, that's Wes, and this is uh, Taiki, uh, ta uh, Taiki, um, fucking, but uh, Jojo Rabbit, still haven't seen that, I mean to see that, um, I'm surprised they thought about getting pizza in the first place, wordy, it was a girls night, and you know, fucking it is what it is, right? All right. One of my friends grew up rich as a kid. One of the founding fathers of India has never poured himself a drink and the sound of vacuum scared him. They made the staff use brooms and shit not to disturb the family, says Marcus. Bingo. Like, it, it's it's insane. <laughs> that joke gets less funny as inflation goes up, says AJ. That's true. Um, let me just throw olive oil and homemade chili oil and my dumplings in the pan. Oh, fuck you, tech support. That sounds brilliant. Uh, my dad went to college with the former manager of the Four Seasons in London. He had some fun stories. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's who's gonna fucking know some shit. Yeah, that's some inside baseball territory as well, Aspen. After World War One and World War Two, there was a labor government in power that put tax reforms in place that made it really, really expensive to own and run a huge manor house. So there were many, many nobility who went who went bankrupt. So you'd find them in boarding houses and they wouldn't know how to cook, clean, or wash themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that was the UK. Yeah, home set. Uh, AJ, I gotta see JoJo. I've been missing it. Yeah, I know, right? Like, it's I've heard nothing but good about it. <clears throat> I 
What's up, Brad? I'm pretty good. Uh, we uh, cleaned the piece. It's, it's, it's entirely clean. I went and quested for new tobacco. Um, like after 9-11, the Patriot Act seizing home phone records. No one ever made international direct calls from their home phones in those days. Direct uh, calls were like $10 a minute. VoIP, gas station phone cards, two cents per minute. But what lawmaker or billionaire has ever pumped gas or been to a gas station cashier? None. Literally none. Yeah. <laughs> Better rich. Take care of yourself. Um, <laughs> your staff stole my watch. Are you sure it wasn't the fine lady who left your room at 2 16 a.m.? <laughs> uh, Marcus, um, not the same, but uh, sa the same sort of his flip side. Um, the ex I wasted my 20s on. I had to teach how to salt water to boil pasta and like the pro like literally he, he could. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been there for some of those sort of like homie. I've been there for fucking my stepfather's versions of them as well. And my stepfather is that type who had like staff, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Watching, watching my mother, um, teach him how to wash his clothes like what a washer and dryer like how that operates yeah yeah caboose he had no idea he had no idea he was 23 maybe at the time yeah 22 23 we would have been something like that um and yeah he had no idea how pasta was made oh dude his mother never let him do anything she never let him do anything Oh no, that, that's, that's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, um, um, she was, uh, an Asian helicopter parent. He's, uh, he was born in Guam, um, to a military dad and no, no, he wasn't a himbo. He was uh fucking like, like I said, it was, he was born to a, a helicopter Asian mom. He was born in Guam. His dad was, um, fucking U S military. And so, and his mom was, um, a Filipino and she was living in Guam and near the U uh, S military base and met the dad and well, the rest is, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the salt is the, uh, that is your single opportunity um, to season the pasta from the inside out. So the only way you will ever get salt to the inside of that fucking pasta and make it actually taste like it's been salted properly is if you boil it with salted water. Um, that's why you do that. If they fire three-fourths of the help, do they end up with a quarter staff? All right, for two, this is just... Um... He hasn't broke his washer yet. Uh, so an actual affluenza. Yes. Yes, for sure. Yeah, my, it, I mean, my stepfather for sure is in that camp. Um, sounds like a microwave, a microwave and egg type. Uh, it's always funny when I meet people from Oregon that don't know how to pump their own gas. Oh, God, that's that's always insane. Um, hmm, interesting, Bjorn. Um, all right, maybe one story says non-binary. Uh, there was a woman age 30 something drinking at the bar. She bought it, brought a date and herself. Uh, she bought a date her and herself a drink. And so one thing led to another and the parents who she was with were, were distraught as she was supposed to be with them. They sat there the whole night and waited for her. When she showed up, she had her freshly, freshly ruffled hair and a big grin on her face. I said, I'm glad you enjoyed the sights and scents of Edinburgh. I knew the grin. Um, Am I, I never salt my pasta. Am I some sort of pasta heathen now? Yeah, you kind of are. Uh, no. No, Caboose. It, it, it is all about the actual flavor profile. It doesn't affect the boiling point. It doesn't change the sticking. It doesn't... And also, don't oil your pasta water. It does nothing. All you're doing is creating an oil slick. Like, don't do that. Um... Uh.
Oh yes, Aka, you should always save some of the starch for the sauce. Yes, the, the, the pasta water definitely is used for the sauce. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is this is adorable, and I think you guys will enjoy it. I I enjoyed it. It's just a, um, it's just sweet. This is. Let me see. Hang on. This is apparently this is a, a one of the lines. It's one of the northern lines, uh, in the UK. Um, and people were saying which line it was. Um, oh, there she is. Um, responding to comments. I just found her. Um, so apparently this is, this is one of the Northern lines in the UK and it's just adorable. And like for somebody who doesn't have public transportation or. Jump aboard, choo -choo. Okay, cool. Um, like, and th like, yeah, it's, it's kind of sweet. Come on everyone, jump aboard, choo-choo, all aboard. Don't worry, I'm not going to shut the door in your buggy. Any more, any more? Out, mind the doors please. This train is for all stations through to Morden. Morden, Morden. But first, we have the dreaded platform to get through. I couldn't be this cheery. Oh, there is currently a restricted lift service at Bora. Bora, Bora, Bora. Next station. Oh, and she's got a fucking Reddit account and a Twitter account. She's adorable. Um, I absolutely adore her. She's, she's, she's just, I couldn't, I couldn't take that in the morning though. If that were my, uh, um, if that were my morning commute. A little bit. It does do increase the boiling temperature of water. Not very much, though. I effectively can't see that doing anything. Yeah, we're talking, if you added 20 grams of salt to 5 liters of water, instead of boiling at 100 C, it would boil at 100.04 C. We're, we're, we're talking hundredths of a, a, a degree of Celsius. You're, you're not boiling salt. You're boiling water with salt in it. Yeah, th that's semantic temperatures. It, it, it's, it does nothing for increasing temperatures as far as boiling pasta goes. Yeah, that's that difference matters in your brain. Well, then go for it. Go for it. But yes, it, it is literally the, the effect is um, 20 grams per five liters is a 0 0.04 degree increase in t uh, boiling temperature. I want to boil salt now. Yeah, the boiling salt requires a bit more temperature, but you're boiling water with dissolved salt. It's, it's, yes, it is. That's the tech support. You'd be better off boiling in this. The maximum amount of water that is required to properly boil your pasta. That's it. To provide some separation and to actually provide some conductive flows. That's all. Salt for that, uh, that, uh, that amount of water and move on. I don't need to see the link. All the so all the UK trains are on strike right now because the um, the uh, workers voted to strike. Aka, because uh, the same reason that you use um, unsalted butter in cooking is that the 
basically the, the methodology behind the culinary process is that the final amount of salt should be determined by the cook or chef. So the more salt that you put in the ingredients means the saltier the dish is, the final dish is going to be. But if you remove salt from the ingredients and only use amounts that are necessary for the chemical processes involved, that leaves that gives more leeway to the end preparer, the, the line cook, the home cook. They have the final hand in the salt. Yeah, which is where that's the important side. That's how it should be weighted. Um, yes, be over. <laughs> it, it, it is it's very much so. You would, uh, you would take a super saturation of salt to even be worthwhile. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yes. Yeah. Good on the train workers. Good on the train workers. It's not all it's rail workers across 15 companies through the RMT union. Some smaller companies aren't counted. All right. Hmm. Aka, what did they think was going to happen when they put up Thatcher's statue? <laughs> so, unsalted butter means I get more soy sauce for the real flavor. Awesome. Um, <laughs> we warned them. Yeah, exactly. They put up a statue of Margaret Thatcher. What they think was... People literally refer to that woman's grave as a fucking urinal. What they th what they think was gonna happen? <laughs> uh, originally, I'm from Vermont. At present, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm from the U.S. How about yourself, uh, Mario? <laughs> Mario? Either way, I'm gonna call you Mario. Welcome, Mario. It's the night show for us, at least in the U.S. Uh, the after dark show is always a little more loose. A few of us have had a few drinks and or smokes. It's always like that. What's up, Gan? Um, how you doing, my man? Eh, you know, night shows, they're always looser. Despite the privatizing of the rails, RMT is a decently based union protected, uh, pro uh, protecting its workers as best it can. All right, duly noted. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard a single person from Britain say a nice thing about Thatcher. Well, Caboose, you haven't interacted with, like, Tories much. Um, no, I didn't, like, uh, no, I didn't, Alex. It's a picture, um, a statue with new unisex bathroom opens. Yeah, I mean, it is actually that. Oh, it's the Scottish woman, isn't it? Yes, of course, it's the Scottish woman. I'm like, as soon as, as, soon as I saw the link, Chaz, was like, you're like, speaking of Thatcher, I'm like, it's got to be the Scottish woman. What's up, Texas Rattlesnake? Um, anytime anybody mentions Margaret Thatcher and then provides a YouTube link, it's always... Not a bit of good. Not a bit. I put a steak through her heart and gar in her neck to make sure she never... Be good. Not a bit of good. Not a bit. I put a steak through her heart and garlic around her neck to make sure she never come back. Isn't that a pretty horrible thing to say when her funeral's going on right now? Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Always fun. Always fun. I put a steak through her heart, garlic around her neck to make sure she doesn't come back. Is that a horrible thing to say with her funeral going on right now? Too bad. Yeah. Always, always a fucking, you know. Yeah. I mean, we hope she's not returning. Don't count your fucking ch chickens till they hatch. Um, my British ex, when trying not to come, would visualize or say Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, that'll probably do the job. Uh, I still have it, non-binary. Um, played David Mitchell calling her B. I prefer Frankie, uh, Frankie's fucking version of it. Is Nevada a swing state? Um, not, not so much. We tend, we we tend to be called purple, um, and but we are dominated by the um, the urban core. Nevada doesn't exist as a state for all intents and purposes. What what Nevada is is Las Vegas. There's there's other elements. I mean, there's Carson City, which is our capital. There's Reno, which needs talking about. But at the end of the day. Um, as Las Vegas goes, Nevada goes. Vegas is the, the, the hub. It is, it is the actual core of the Nevada politics. Um, and we lean progressive. 
Um, Nevada is, uh, we talk about it a few times, like uh, Nevada is one of the more progressive states, like plain and simple. It's all done under a libertarian-esque uh, methodology, but we have drive-through gay marriage. Our Medicaid program has gender-affirming surgery and hormone treatments. We don't care if you're broke and you want to transition. We will help you transition. We don't care if you want to fucking see dudes swing around a pole or women swing around a pole or non-binary people swing around a pole. We don't care. We'll provide it. We, we will hook you up. We've got constitutionally protected stuff at the state level here. We, we, we don't give a shit. Like, Nevada is at a certain level very much all about cash. Do you have money? Cool. Welcome. Well, but what about if I'm uh, a black trans woman? Do you have money? Yes? Cool. Welcome. It is, it is very much that way. And we have a lot of progressivist programs in our state. Um, like I said, our Medicaid program, um, yes, we have actual places for sex workers to work. Yeah. And it's one, it, we have the lowest disease rate. We have, uh, it's safe. We've never had an incident. It is literally the model of prostitution and sex work in this, in this country. We, we figured it out. Copy. Right? Like, yeah. And like I said, our Medicaid program is accessible to all, is well-funded, provides gender-affirming care, HIV medications, antivirals, hepatitis C treatments. Um, we provide, you know, a diabetes medication, gear, everything. Um, our Medicaid program is very well accepted. Um, it's been that way. We've had mail in voting and our voting process is fucking slick as shit. Um, we've had mail in voting for like a decade or some shit like in this, uh, you know, in this state, like, and now it's permanent. Like it's just permanent. We're all just automatically registered to mail in vote now. Like it's just our system. So tried and true at this point, the fucking somebody tried to like years ago, they were spreading the rumor that the Democrats were fucking rigging the vote in Nevada and shit like that. And somebody went looking and the only, there was only one iteration of, um, uh, voter fraud. And it was this dude, the dude who was voting as his dead wife or some shit. And he was voting for Trump. Yeah. They found one. What's up, Caleb? Our, our mail-in vote process is slick. We can track it the whole way through. Um, so... Yeah, um, we're not really about it here, at least in Vegas. Uh, if my pitch meeting goes well, I need I need to move a black trans woman to a weed legal state to actually get twisted and write weed and alcohol off as taxes as a business expense for software testing. <laughs> um. And see, non-binary, like, you know, do you have money? Like, like I said, back black trans woman, then we'd say, okay, well, cool. Um, are you a resident of our state? Yes. Cool. Well, sign up for these medical programs. Sign up for the, the Medicaid program. Sign up for um, food stamps. Sign up for, you know, we, we have cash assistance in the state even too. We'll just like give you money. You know that, right? Like Nevada will just give you money. I forget how much. Yeah, apply for cash both online and over the phone. Um, rent, uh, housing, rent, mortgage, utility bills, medical, prescription, sick, healthcare, employment, transportation, gasoline, clothes, childcare, food, household supplies. Um, Division of Welfare and Supportive Services can approve other bills to be paid as well.
um be over i can't okay one there are things Look, I don't want to put anybody on blast, and I don't want to fucking start any shit. That fuck, I don't even want to send any ripples out. Be over. People would have to check for it to matter. And our DWS division, they're very um, overworked. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, we supplement uh, our tax revenue from taxing the casinos, Exel, to the extent of there is no state income tax in Nevada. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Beast. Exactly. Like this, this, right, this right here. Um, yeah, um, yeah, Axel, we, we don't have, um, income tax in Nevada because, well, we have the casinos just like the, um, just like in Alaska, they have the oil fund. We don't get a direct cut, um, but we, our taxes are paid like no matter what it is. Whatever the state's taxes are for like income and stuff like that, it's covered. That's that's the casinos handling that. The casinos are just basically like, look, we got we got the income tax for all of the Nevada residents. It's on us. Whatever normally you guys would be paying the state for putting up with our bullshit, we got you on the income tax. How about that? Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's a hundred percent who pays our income taxes, the casinos. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, suddenly, comedy uh, comedian residency makes a lot of sense, dude. There's a lot of fucking people who hole up here in Vegas that get shows. They're like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna ride this fucker. Like, yeah, I'm gonna ride this bitch all the way. Why do you think? Uh, why do you think Penn and Teller been here so long? It, they they haven't been here because it's a fucking terrible gig, man. They built them their own fucking theater. They get no income tax taken out by the state and they've got million dollar contracts and dude, it's yeah, it's a solid gig. It's a solid gig. And if you incorporate in Nevada, which by the way, you should, um, if you incorporate in Nevada, you can create a blind, uh, a, a blind board of directors and a blind corporation. Like essentially, um, you can create a corporation that is at the state level like we don't require you to tell us who is involved in that corporation <laughs> um and the um roth uh the rothschild uh wealth management group is based out of reno nevada Nevada is like a black hole for LLCs and for trusts and for wealth management. This entire state is Ancapistan. It's designed to avoid interaction with the state and the finances. Like, that's just how Nevada works. So, yeah. This place is pretty fucked. <laughs> I suspect Nevada gets a lot of California traffic. We get a lot of everybody's traffic for twos. We're the number one destination. We're the world's largest tourist destination. It's, we get traffic from everywhere. All over this country. <clears throat> yeah, that Battleborn. Dude, Squiddy. Fucking, what's up, man? Um, that Battleborn shit. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Holy shit. All right, I have something about Nevada that you're going to fucking love. Uh, I've been saying this for ages. Um, all right. That Battleborn shit, do we straight bribed our way into the fucking U.S.? We paid for the Civil War. We paid for the Civil War. 
uh, Lincoln couldn't um, Lincoln. We didn't meet the the population requirements at the time, and Lincoln needed the silver to fund the Civil War because we are we were coated in sil- in silver mines. Um, so much silver was here. Lincoln needed the silver to fund the the Civil War, and we didn't meet the population requirements. A deal was struck. That's why we're called the Silver State. Yeah, Nevada straight up bought its way into the Union. Like, yeah, yeah, constitutional requirements and all that. Uh, We have all of the money you need to fund your war. Sup. Welcome. Come on in. How you doing, Nevada? You want to be a state? Okay, so you know how I tell you guys that Nevada is really super fucking, like, touchy about how its name is pronounced? That it's not Nevada, it's Nevada. And, like, people get in trouble for saying it wrong, like, when politicians come here and shit like that. All right, I want to show you this. This is all 50 states' um, tourist logos. These are the tourist logos for all 50 states. All right, we got, like, Arkansas, Natural State, and Sweet Home Alabama, and fucking Kentucky, Unbridled Spirit, and Ohio, the state of perfect balance, right? Explore Minnesota. Right? This is all of them. Here's Nevada. We put the pronunciation in the tourist logo. We're like, bitch, it's pronounced Nevada. That's it. No, we're not fucking around. They're very serious about that pronunciation. They're very serious. I, I don't know what, what that is about. But yeah. Yeah, we're the number one tourist destination. Like that's, yeah, yeah. Like that's some big dick energy, AJ. I, dude, I Aspen, I've, yet, I've been here for ages. I've yet to figure it out. Uh, it, it's, it's the weirdest shit. But yeah, no, AJ, it is like, that's some big dick energy. Right? Like that's fucking... We're the number one destination, man. Like, it's just... Yeah. What's Nevada's fucking tourist logo look like? It looks like the most simple writing possible explaining to these idiots how to say our name. Night, Puka. Sleep well. What's up, Distern? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy knife. Boy knife. Um, Number one tourist destination. Flat lowercase font. Fuck you. Come on down. Yeah. Oh, that sucks, Distern. Um, Nevada. Trademark. Um, I agree. Never seen a logo have big dick energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, dude. But that's that's the shield rattle. That's the shield, right? Oh, yeah, we... Vegas does that. Very much. Like, yeah, come to Nevada. We have all sorts of stuff. Right? When you're number one, right? It's... It's like when you're fucking, like, the world's most famous pop star, right? Like, yeah, you introduce other acts. You bring people on the road with you. Right? You, you already know you're the biggest name in the room. Vegas already knows it's the biggest name in the room. It's got the big dick energy. So yeah, the, the, we, we, Vegas very much a, like, come to Nevada. We've got all sorts of natural resources. The whole time, like Vegas won't even mention itself sometimes in some of those fucking ads they pay for us. Like, oh yeah, they've got all the expanses of wilderness and the hiking trails and the lake and the dam and all this sort of thing. And it's like, did, did the Vegas Tourist Bureau just pay for an ad that doesn't even talk about Vegas? Yeah, because if you come to if you come to Nevada, you're coming to Vegas. <laughs> we already know that. That's a default. Hey, there's our fucking retard. What's up, man? Uh, do not come. You're not banned either, by the way. You're just fucking boring. 
Oh, we're number one. It's so solid. We're correcting. <laughs> we're number one, and it's so solid. We're correcting the customer. Potato, potato, Nevada, Nevada. Margaret Thatcher. Um, you know what? I wonder if I can. Let's see. Hang on. I want to just look at something. Follow. Because that does an if that if else then, right? Like, okay. So if the display name. Oh, you know what? I can filter him. Like, I can actually filter him. I can just ruin that for him. Um, yeah. Uh, Cupcake, what's that dude's actual name? Did we... I, I, I it just always goes by really quickly. That's fucking... I'm going to come. Do not come. Uh, if pitch meeting goes too damn well, I'm going to have to come to Nevada and bring some squares with me. Uh, it's my first amendment right to come. Um, is that is coming a right to ex, a right to self-expression? Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could add straight up. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna, let's see. I'm just gonna put that in here. There we go. And I'm pretty sure it's capitalized, right? done all right i'll check it as well all right yeah i'm gonna add a manual stop on that just to fuck with him um is it performance art i mean i suppose right coming is shooting so reality it's a second amendment right see i see i'm with non-binary on this one i think your right to come is covered by the second amendment not the first Now comes the big question. Does the National Firearms Act apply to your genitals? So if it does, in that instance, anyone who gets uh, um, a penectomy or removal of the penis could be seen as somebody who is shortening, uh, who is cutting off the barrel. And sawed off barrels are under a certain distance are illegal under the NFA. So if you have a large penis and you remove it, are you in violation of the NFA? And if so, how do we rectify this? <laughs> new, new NRA ad series. This is so pedantic, it's practically policy. Um, uh, the Second Amendment requires a well-trained militia, so are we going to have coordinated masturbation as a sport now? <laughs> Just asking for a friend. I mean, yes, of course. Wouldn't this just say it's illegal for trans women to get surgery under that thought process? Well, Wordy, some of them. Because you can saw off a barrel, you just can't saw off a certain amount of barrel. The, the, the overall has to be a certain distance. So, theoretically, you'd need to know how big the original gear is, I think. And it might... Marcus is our resident uh, papa. Um... Wait, so there's an opposite part of this. What's the equivalent of a bump stock? Exactly. No, 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 big ear. The, the, the math is actually like how much is taken off. You'd, you'd, you'd actually need the full measurement. Interesting. So theoretically, if you have a larger one, you could technically do it. 
Um, guns are just a straight man's dildo. Penises are just unnatural dildos. Therefore, guns are penises. Trans women remove the barrel and altogether and the ammunition, so it's a different situation there. Um, you're right. The ammo is gone. I don't think the government has a right to tell me to tell who I'm allowed to come with. So it's a first amendment issue. Um, the gun is good. The penis is evil. Uh, welcome to America. That's pretty much it. Caboose. Hmm. Are there holster laws for women or those unregulated now? <laughs> Uh, we have we have no rules or limitations uh, governing uh, holsters in this country. Um, I wanted to look at this. Does this have an attached video? <sighs> All right. Ah, it does. Okay, thank you. All right, so hang on. Image, copy. There we go. Cool. All right. And then the video. I want to watch the video. Okay. So uh, if you're around regularly, you've probably heard me talk about this crazy bitch. Um, Candace Taylor. She's running for uh, uh, gubernatorial. She's a gubernatorial candidate in Georgia. Um, she is crazy as fuck. She, uh, her, her campaign slogan is Jesus guns, babies. I'm not kidding you. That's her campaign slogan. Jesus guns, babies, Europeans. Welcome to America. Um, she is the one who recently stated, Hey, um, uh, yeah, I mean, Hey Gemma. Um, she's the one who recently stated that the, ch uh, the church is the state in Georgia. Um, so she, I mean, she literally stated unequivocally, this, the church is the state. Like she, she said, um, there, there's no such thing as separation of church and state because the church is the state. All right. She's crazy as fuck. Um, so here's her, this is, this is gonna, this is gonna be a two parter. Okay. It's going to be a screenshot of a tweet, but we're going to watch the video that the, the tweet is uh, talking about first. Prime? That's not going to happen either. We're not making backroom deals with shit. Sheriffs. They're the highest constitutional officer in their county. And, and they're going to do the will of the people. I don't mind handcuffing them either. So, I mean it. I've heard it from sheriff corruption all over the state. We've got some awesome sheriffs and praise the Lord for them. Pray for them. Even if you have a corrupt one, pray for them. And pray that they're replaced really quickly if they're corrupt. But I don't care. I don't mind handcuffing any single person who does who breaks the law and goes against our government. The Constitution says when you commit treason, it's death by firing squad. I didn't write it. It's in there. It's serious. When you swear to God to uphold a document that says you'll do the will of the people and you will honor every single thing in that constitution you do that if you can't do that then you better understand that okay so that's her advocating for um committing uh, uh committing uh sheriffs who do not abide by her theo uh her christian radical theological uh, interpretation of the u.s constitution um to summary execution by firing squad here is the tweet, right? Governor Georgia Governor candidate Candace Taylor says she'll ex uh, uh, says she'll execute sheriffs by firing squad if they don't do the will of the people. I don't mind handcuffing them either. The Constitution says when you commit treason, it's death by firing squad. I didn't write it; it's down there. Here is she, here she is responding to a video of him, of her saying just that, saying um no, I didn't say that. You're a liar. Oh, 
<sighs> so, yeah. Muraku. These are the people I occupy the same world with. You really don't, Wordy. You really, really don't occupy the same world with them. Not, not really. No. There, there's a shared physical space for sure. For sure, there's a shared physical space, but you really aren't in the same world as them. <laughs> um... Be over. See, now I have to see how Brian Kemp gets elected, putting her in the alternate choice. Um, Caboose, man, the right wingers really love not taking responsibility for themselves. Don't they? Party of responsibility. Party of personal responsibility. Amazing. Um, they really are living in a secondary reality. Yeah, they really are. Jeffrey sounds like one for the, uh, for the less luxurious <laughs> education resorts. <laughs> Political gaslighting as a campaign tactic. Gotcha. I want to destroy every fire and military weapon in the world and appoint the U.S. and go, it's their fault. They kept being irresponsible. Um, we'll, we will have built them back f quicker than you, you, you would be comfortable with actually thinking about, Alex. <laughs> you could take them all away. We'd be like, you know, give us a generation. We'll get them back. All of them. Probably more, because if you took the guns away from us, we'd be resentful. And we'd probably have more of them. Yeah, we'd be like, we'll take that 400 million we had already, and we're going to make it 600 million this next time. Fuck around and find out. America. Yeah. Spite motivates our nation. Dude, our, America runs on spite. It really does. Dude, spite is one of the biggest motivators in our country. Jesus, guns, babies, freedom, white, money. Yeah, Jesus, guns, babies. That's her campaign slogan. Jesus, guns, babies, spite, and Duncan. You know, to a certain extent. Uh, Jesus, guns, babies. That is that is her fucking camp, campaign slogan. Like, imagine Europeans, Australians, foreigners of all stripes. Burger Man, you're from India, right? Ima imagine... Imagine a fucking political candidate announcing for like for a major position, mayor of London, something big, right? Governor. She's running for governor. Their campaign slogan is Jesus, guns, babies. And it plays. Imagine that. Imagine if some Scottish politician came out and said, Jesus, guns, babies. And they got like a percentage of the vote. Um, someone should just tape down the end of her <laughs> campaign posters. Uh, I have a potato in this tube. Yeah, exactly, Sonia. Um, it's in order of importance. It is. She ain't even mask a mask awning it. No, no, not at all. I'm um, not one to send for Bo, but this video on the new standard rifle for the U.S. Army hits home. Um, well, this reminds me, the Pennsylvania Republicans are suing each other for the senatorial nomination. <laughs> Makes me think even our versus our racists lead to stop the steel type madness. Worries me that it's priming conservatives to be ready for protest and riot at the face hint of impotence, uh, impropriety and will lead to full blown insurrection in 2024. Oh no, for two's 2024 is going to be a fucking shit show. Are you kidding me? It's going to be insane by then. Um... I mean, the DUP does exist, does exist in the UK. I've never heard a Canadian politician run on any of that shit. They lie, sure, but no guns. We have like 1.2 guns per person that we know of. We aren't getting rid of them. Um, yeah, ducking now. Fucking, we get 400 million last, last estimation. 420 if you're be fucking actually being like, look, there's a lot of them that we can't even estimate. Yeah. Um... She wouldn't, she wouldn't even get a play on a community radio in Australia with that, except maybe as a target for manic laughter. Kiwis would have so much fun taking the piss out of someone like that. Um, 
we have the UK problem where our two parties just bounce back and forth with the wide gaps. So true social is full of Hillary memes. It's like going back to 2017. Oh, Ambrose, good luck with that. Um, yeah, I remember the conservative government for you for, for you guys, AJ. Uh, and then you have fun. Uh, then you have functional antiques. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she was fun. She was fun. Fucking psychopath, bitch. Oh, she fucking, she so wants to kill somebody like me. Oh, this is great. Y'all love this. This is some schadenfreude shit. All right. So this is kind of hilarious. Um, there was this like thread on Twitter. Um, what the fuck is going on there? There we go. Um, some turfs discovered right wing allies um, are big on the the trans exclusionary part, but not so much the radical feminism part. And so they've been making, you know, they've been making the bed with um, <clears throat> these supposed allies for a while. Um, there was an interesting interaction. Uh, let's see. I'm about to do some research on the thing I'm working on. You point out how Europeans are weirdly racist for minor differences. I wonder if you'd heard of the Kajo, Kagets or Kajo or something. Uh, I'm seeing French, so it's probably like Cajot or some shit like that. White, uh, white French Catholics who were racially discriminated against for about a thousand years with special laws forcing the discrimination and subjugation so much that they spent a congregation to petition the Pope to help them. Uh, che, I 100% want to know more about that. Send me links or something. Um, DM it to me in Discord. Um, I'm sorry, short U.S. Army wants to do the range of near peers, so replacement... Uh, if the AR-15 won't have cohesive bodies and it's available civilian purchase for almost 10k before the military gets it. Hmm, duly noted. Um, okay, so um, here's this crazy dude. The gender ideology movement has secured millions in taxpayer funding to promote puberty blockers, double mastectomies, prosthetic genitalia, and bizarre sexual fetishes to children. It has to stop. <laughs> Chris, you've been getting, uh, you've been getting quite a bit, uh, bit of flack on here for jumping into this space without realizing that women have been at this for years. Here's my book in case you want to check it out and retweet. That would be actually uh, that would actually be very helpful. The Abolition of Sex by Kara Dansky. How the transgender agenda harms women and girls. I actually haven't been getting flack, and I certainly don't believe I need permission from feminists to report on gender. My reporting follows my curiosity and nothing else, and frankly, those of you who have been at this for years have had nothing but to lose ground. Those women who have been at it for years are the sole reason why you're aware of it now. Why, <coughs> why weren't sorry? Why weren't you speaking out five or even ten years ago? That would have been uh, helpful to the women struggling to make themselves heard. This is so fucking annoying. Matt Walsh, Bill Maher, Chris Rufo, etc. Bathe in praise while the women who've been fighting this for years are harassed, ignored, and cast out of their own communities. Every one of these guys owes a debt to feminists, detransitioners, and others who have been speaking out at no small cost to themselves. Let's see if they ever acknowledge that. No, I rejected this specific patronizing gatekeeping, blah, 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 blah. Just love it. Just love it. Just love it. You love to see it. Yeah. It's like, bitch, what do you think they were about? You made your bed with them. Let turfs doing surprise Pikachu over misogyny on the right. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck all those people. Just fuck them all. Fuck them. You get what you get. You get what you deserve, bitch. <laughs> That's... Uh, something, something, leopards and faces. Yep. Uh, ooh, the right-wingers are fighting this time. Nice change of pace. 
Uh, this is this is delightful. Turfs molding because the misogynists they ally with are in fact misogynists. Yeah, for two, isn't it? Isn't it just terrible? You just you hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> Never thought I'd be fighting along of uh, alongside the far right. Yes, you did. Uh, to be fair, the turf's natural state is molding. <laughs> That's true. Um, ah, you're welcome, non-binary. You're welcome. Glad, glad you could get a good chuckle. Baba John, what's that about reaping and sowing? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> gentle map, nobody knows what the fuck that is. Um, this is the age of sin. Reject the order of creation. Revel in the annihilation of man as the image of God. Destroy plot designs of death. Disfigure the faces of man and woman. Oh, uh, Gemma Turf's learning that the enemy, my enemy, is not necessarily my friend is kind of well overdue. Um, no, 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 red, 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 red said, meanwhile, trans people are loudly calling for women's rights. Red, you have to understand the conservatives in America have actually put forth, the Republicans put forth a, a, a bill of rights for women. I'm not kidding you. They put forth a bill of rights for women. Everybody, you need to know this. In America, the, the conservatives rolled out a plan for a Bill of Rights of Women. Um, so you know, there's one right. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. There's one right, and it's the it, this is their working list. It's the right to not have to share a bathroom with a trans woman. I'm not kidding you. It's the bathroom separation thing. That's it. That's the only thing on the list. That's that's that that's it. That's all that was suggested, is not, not sharing a bathroom with trans women. Nothing else. I mean, no, yes. See, you're trying to like, okay, so there's contrary to what you may have heard on Fox News, there is no central coven or gathering of the queers where we all got on the same page for things. We actually are a, di uh, a diverse group of individuals with various creeds and colors and ethnic and national backgrounds amongst ourselves. We're a very diverse group as far as the queer community goes, right? So there is no single answer to this rattlesnake. But here's what I can tell you. As an anarchist, we're not big fans of anybody who tells me how to live my life, right? Like that's, that's fundamental. And Islam is a big offender. So is Christianity. So is Judaism. So is Hinduism, right? So, you know, well, shit puts away cloak and agenda, right? So the, the answer to your question is ultimately fuck any authoritarian now if you want to believe something in private and you want to believe that with all your heart and all of your being that's fine you do that i don't want to take anything away from anybody all i'm saying is your ability to impact the rest of the world with your crazy fucking beliefs needs to be tamped down so like that's that are you harming others congratulations you're fucking out right it's Keep that shit in your own, own fucking building. When it reaches out and it starts oppressing people, it starts coercing people, it starts killing people, it starts causing people to commit suicide. Well, guess what? It's time to have a reformation. So that's how that rolls. So I'll tell you right now, I'm more anarchist than I am gay. And I'm, I'm aggressively gay. 
So how do I feel about Islam? Fuck Islam. Fuck, fuck Christianity. Fuck Judaism. Fuck all of the religions for holding back the 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 psychological, technological, and sociological development of humanity. Fuck all of them. They're all guilty. They're all complicit in the retardation of our species. Done. Later, AJ. Sleep well. Take care of yourself. Don't let Kai lie to you. We had our monthly potluck on the moon. We had ham, egg, and, qui uh, ham, egg, and quiche. Um, queers disagreeing. Color me shocked that the catch-all identity within LGBT plus isn't a... Uh, 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 within the... Uh, uh, it isn't a damn monolith. So would you fuck a woman for anarchism? Uh, Beast, you're going to have to prove to me how that's getting the job done. But if it gets the job done, yeah. I mean, aren't the Calvinists a subset of Christians anyway? Um, Taoism, I have a soft spot for, but even they've gotten out of uh, out of pocket a little a few times. Shintoism, they've gotten out of pocket a few times. The Buddhists have gotten out of pocket a fucking bunch of times. Um, yeah, no gods, no masters. Isn't an aesthetic or an amonarchic uh, statement. It's an exercise in boundaries. Yeah, Amherst, I'll fuck Trump for anarchism. Like, we gotta... We'll get to, um, <laughs> fucking, yeah. Um, you, we... It's just how it works. Quakers ain't the worst. I like Quakers. Quakers are good people. Quakers are good people. Quakers are good people. I, I Look, I'll, I'll take the Quakers. They don't seem to have sex scandals. They don't... Like, they're just... I, I like the Quakers. And they're activists. Dude, the Quakers fuck stuff up. I like them. They're good. Um, this is like the fifth time Kai said he'd fuck a woman for the good of humanity. Yeah, like, I mean, I'll, I'll fucking... Look, if I can create a fucking utopia just by fucking, uh, fucking some chick, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll get the job done. Dude, I'll do whatever. I'll fucking take Viagra. I'll have a fucking dude in the corner that I can look at. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll get, I'll get the job done, right? It's probably gonna be a butt plug up my ass or something, right? Like, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to get me there. Right? We're talking about utopia. We're talking about fixing humanity here. Fucking, what? you know, what? You, you wouldn't do it? If you wouldn't do it, you're fucking sus. Fucking, whose team are you on? Fucking, oh, you're not on the gay team? You're not on human team. Whose fucking team are you on, motherfucker? We're talking about fixing humanity. I mean, you know, could I cause a heart attack be over? Would it, would it have, like, you know, put her down and back in the, like, 80s or 70s or some shit like that? We could have avoided all that, all that fucking, um, all that heartache for the, the, fuck, the, the north, all of the, the, the mine and mill towns. Jesus Christ, yeah. I'd get the job done. Quakers didn't wring every last penny out of business, so they were appe uh, appealing companies to be taken over. Many former Quaker companies still exist, including manufacturers, Cadbury, Roundtree, Fries, and Clark's. Barks, Bank, Lays, Lloyds, and Financial Institution Life, which were formerly Friend Providence. Um, yeah, but yeah, they're not associated anymore, right? Like, they haven't been. Um, oh, so they were appealing companies to be taken over. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were, yeah, I'm like, wait a second. Yeah, they're all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but is somebody giving out butt plugs? Because I want to join the queue for that one. Um... Nothing stops you. I mean, nothing stops you from being fucked by the guy at the same time. Exactly, Red. See, like, we're talking solutions here. What's up, Carpe? Um, hope you're well, my man. Uh, let's see. There are the Komusu who just vibe and play music. None give one shit about telling others how to exist. Uh, Komusu. Okay, cool. Duly noted. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Attend the monthly potlucks. That's where we pass them out. <laughs> Uh, do you have a quality flared base? Made that mistake once. Never again. Uh, love the creative solutions. Yeah, like, look, I don't know how me fucking Margaret Thatcher to death fucking fixes humanity, but if it fixes humanity, we'll fucking get the job done, right? Like, you just got to show me. You got to, I, I need the math done. Like, I need you to show your math. Like, this is one of those things, like, normally I don't need you to show your math, but I need you to show your math on this sort of thing. But if you can show your math on this sort of thing, we'll get the fucking job done. No big deal. Um, 
What are your thoughts on fuck machines? I mean, it's always hilarious to tie a fucking sub up to uh, to like some gear and just fucking put one in front of like behind them and just for an hour or so. That'll break them. Um, what about the seeks? The seeks are cool. Um, but yeah, they will uh, they will eventually get up to some shit. They do eventually. I mean, they are a warrior class. Don't don't fucking get it twisted. The seeks uh, will get up to some shit eventually. Um, also super patriarchal, super patriarchal. Um, so, you know, I, I like the Sikhs in a world filled with Christians and Muslims and shit. Like in, in that world where I have to put up with all of this bullshit, typical the, uh, Western theology, dude, I'd take a Sikh 10 times out of 10. Are you kidding me? They're usually co- highly communally focused. They've been feeding the poor in the golden temple for 400 years straight plus. Um, hundred percent. Like, yeah, like I, I, I will take those Sikhs 10 times out of 10, right? It will find out that like the Sikhs have been feeding in their golden temple. They've been feeding people for over 400 years, every single fucking day to the tune of hundreds of thousands, by the way, per feeding. Sometimes it's insane what they've gotten up to. And then we find over a 50 year period. Um, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 50-year period, according to the French uh, study that I was looking at. Dude, I was... Uh, for Tous, you're here right now, actually. I was reading the um, the Catholic abuse uh, CIASE fucking uh, thing that... Uh, what was it? The French Independent Commission on Sexual Abuse in the Catholic Church. Okay, so 70 years. Then we find out that the Catholic Church in France alone, in 70 years, racked up over 330,000 sexual assaults. Right in a world where I have the Sikhs feeding the hungry. Doesn't matter why you're hungry. You could just be hungry. They are feeding the fucking hungry for 400 fucking years straight through thick and thin. They're like, we feed the fucking hungry. Meanwhile, over in France, the Catholic Church is fucking altar boys to the tune of 12 a day for 70 years. Okay. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'll take one of these over the other. One of these is a better deal. Uh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that. I'd have to see the Irish race, to be honest. You'd love to see them. Yes, tech support. I have the document if you want the document. It is a fully independent commission run out of France. It is an astounding document to go through. And yes, it is 330 Catholic staff. I'm sorry. Um... Over the uh, no, sorry. Now, uh, over the course of seventy years, from nineteen fifty to two thousand and twenty, the um, the Catholic Ch- uh, the Catholic Church had abused over three hundred and thirty thousand people within their care sexually. Yes, that's twelve rapes a day. That's twelve boy rapes. That's that's twelve Catholic boy rapes a day, for seventy years. And the commission found that while the rate had tapered. Um, I mean, whatever. There's still fucking Catholics prote- protecting them. I don't give a shit. At no point did I... Um, <clears throat> my grandfather had a falling out with the Catholic Church. I can't imagine over what. The, um, the, they, they did find that while the rate of abuse had fallen, it plateaued. It's not still falling. Um, the rate had had declined from the heyday of boy rape in the uh, Catholic Church. Um, <laughs> and, sorry, yeah, young female parishioners as well. Um, it stopped tapering off. It tapered, and then it pl- valleyed out. It's technically not a plateau, it'd be a valley. Either way, it valleyed out. And so they're still going. It didn't go to zero. Um, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, as of 2018, 1,300 clergy members were accused of sexual abuse in Ireland. Would I bang a Catholic nun for world peace? Yeah, no big deal. Like I said, I'll get the job done. You're just going to have to do the math. you got to have to prove to me why banging this particular Catholic nun is going to ba- bring about world peace, but I'll get the job done. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to get it up for her, but I'll get it up. Fucking. 
we'll make we'll get the work we'll get it done <clears throat> I mean I'm in fucking all religions are not I'm in that camp too uh, I don't know if uh, I can find it but there's a good report on how many nuns were raped by priests during confession as well Catholic Church got a problem they all got a problem man they all got a problem uh. Okay. But would Ted Cruz suck a dick for world peace? No. And that's why Alex Jones is more respectable than Ted Cruz. Because fucking even Alex Jones admit he'd like suck a dick for fucking world peace. Fucking Alex Jones is a piece of human garbage who made up a fucking conspiracy theory about how parents who had just lost their fucking children in a school shooting, right, so he could profit off of it, right, and rile his base with it. That guy is a better human being than the other guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here for Proudly Radical. Since I owe Kai a few favors from back in the old days. Uh, shit, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Wait. Why are you still recording? Fine, fine. Just be sure to edit it out. Anyways, as I was saying, well, this is Alex Jones, and I just wanted to teach the proletariat a few things about anarchism. Anarchism isn't about chaos. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Anarchism is about the people. It's about solidarity and mutual aid. It's about removing unjust authority and hierarchies. We should all be anarchists. The world would be a better place. Now... I'm going to apologize again to all those parents whose lives I ruined because I'm such a douchebag. Jones, out. All right, guy, this has got to make us even for that uh, incident you helped me out with. Oh, good. That's downloaded. Didn't even notice, but it happened in the background. Yes, we're going to clip that. Um, We're going to clip that fucking uh, Richard Spencer thing. Fucking... Sifting for the report in French, yeah, it was 216,000 minors from that, and then up to three, then there's the extension of the fucking Catholicism teachers, holy fuck sticks. Yeah, 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 for two. Yeah, I've got, I, I was, when I heard about the report, I was like, oh, come on, France, be French, be French, publish it in English. I was like, I, those, I, it's exactly the sort of thing I would imagine Fr uh, the French government be like, it, pu it publishes in two languages, right, at least. And I went looking to the official website, and they're like, here's the English version, here's the English summary. I'm like, yes, thank you, France, for being cosmopolitan. Fuck me. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking deal with some French version of this bullshit. But yeah, no, fully, fully default fucking um, French version, uh, English version of it. Yeah. Like, right out of the gate. Not a shitty translation. Like, they wrote an English version of it. And it's, dude, it's a fucked, it's a fucked document. It is, it is a properly fucked document. Like, good on France for doing this degree and level of investigation. There's very few fucking cases I've seen that go this depth, this in depth. You guys put some fucking work into this shit. Yeah, 100%. This is native English. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. There we go. It's night, Aka. Take care of yourself. Yeah. It's a comprehensive document. Welcome to the introduction, finally. Right? Like, this This is a huge... They explain their methodologies. They fucking... Dude, they, they go into it. They go into it. There you go.
so. The estimate has a 95% probability attached to it. 2020. The, 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 the investigation is 2021. Um, because the data actually goes from 1950 to 2020. It's a 70-year uh, data span. And they put the fucking legwork in. 330,000 fucking people. Just in France alone. Just in France alone. Just in France alone. If you start racking these numbers on a global scale, we're talking millions, potentially over generations, tens of millions. You're talking real numbers here. That this is, this is a degree of abuse that's difficult to even wrap your fucking head around. 330,000 in France alone in 70 years. France isn't that big. <laughs> so, yeah. Good luck with it. Yeah, I was just saying, those aren't, that's not even the Vatican secret archives. That's just the Vatican archives. There. Uh, shit, the birds are waking up. I should sleep tonight now. Good night, tech support. Good night, tech support. Sleep well. And that's just Catholicism. The percentage of people who are abused by the Salvation Army as a percentage of membership in Australia was horrible. Also, Gemma, you guys got Jehovah's Witnesses uh, pinned down. Um, we're 70 millions or so if you apply that to Catholic South America and Africa. Ouch, big numbers. No, no, no. Um, and Gemma, yeah, you fucking, uh, we, we just had a fucking, the Southern Baptist here in, Ge in Gentle Mad, the Southern Baptist convention here in the U S we just found out about fucking hundreds of abuse victims that they had in a database for their fucking church. And they're not even ancient. Like the goddamn Catholics are. If you take in the orthodoxy of Judaism, especially if you take in the Mormons, if you take in the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Salvation Army, the Catholics, the fuck it. Like, if you start adding up the numbers, the numbers are terrifying. The numbers are ter truly terrifying. Yeah, Gemma, you guys are, is Australia still fining the Jehovah's Witnesses on $10,000 a day because they won't turn over those documents? Like, that started years ago. Y'all still got that? Um, Pentecostals, the Baptists, the Anglicans, almost every Christian sect. You, the Muslims, the fucking Orthodox Judaism, fucking like, yeah. Oh, but uh, Buddhists. Dude, I've heard of fucking sexual abuses at the Buddhist uh, monasteries as well. They fucking, they take in those young Buddhist monks. Um, interesting, Gemma. All right. Um, California has a string of specialist Spanish Catholic missions that undoubtedly abused indigenous people. There's one in the town I was born in. Oh, yeah, for sure they did. Carpe, that's like a guarantee. Um, yeah, the, the Buddhists keep that shit quieter. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, like they're old. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking thing, man. I, 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 at this point, it is, I, I can't even begin to, um, wrap my head around, like, in the modern era, cumulatively, across all of the religions, are we talking a hundred million people? Have the have the religious sects sects of this world like raped a hundred million people in the modern era? Like, what we're talking some serious numbers. Like they're we know they're in the tens. Like Ever looked into Ted Gunderson? He was the, um, 
LA FBI, um, the, um, bureau chief, right? Um, he was, he worked the, um, JFK assassination and Marilyn Monroe, right? Yeah, there's supposed to be some, like, secret files or something attached to Ted Gunderson. No, I've never looked into him deeply, but I know he's, like, a uh, focus of some of the uh, uh, conspiracy theories. And, like, wasn't his death supposedly, like, strange or weird or in some way or something? Um, physical and sexual abuse was literally the least they did to us. Oh, easily. Um, yeah, I mean, let's not even mention the genocide. It's fucking the genocide's fucking, you know, that's a whole other ball game. I'm talking about, let's just like, how, how many, how much rape did they get up to? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hillsong is notor- fucking Hillsong's notorious. Gemma. Um, isn't, um, isn't Chris Pine a Hillsong member? I want to say Chris Pine is a Hillsong member. Yes, he is. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. Cult I used to be a part was modeled on Hillsong, and it was Chris Pratt, not Pine. Okay, it was Chris Pratt. Yes. Okay, it was Chris Pratt. Cool. Um, I knew I fucking wanted them. Okay. 2015, it was disclosed that the Australian branch of Jehovah's Witnesses had records of 1,006 alleged perpetrators of child sexual abuse relating to more than 1,800 victims since 1950, none of which were reported to police by the group. Imagine that. Shocking. Um, uh, yes, Chris Pratt is a religious nutso. Um, So the Baptists have a stranglehold on the South. They do. Um, time to go cook breakfast. Yeah, Papa, I'm actually fucking, I'm hungry as shit, frankly. Um, what's going on over here? Oh, I have whispers. <laughs> fucking... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, it was Wither. It was Wither. Oh, yeah, 100%. I don't care if you're on fucking intermission. All right, let me get that loaded. Oh, uh, what's up, Reed? I, you know, my back's been kind of fucked this last couple of weeks, but... What you got? Uh, the Australian Royal Commission found that, quote, we do not consider Jehovah's Witness organization to be an organization which responds adequately to child abuse. The organization's retention and continued application of policies, such as two witness rule. You have to have two wit, Jesus Christ, of child sexual abuse shows a serious lack of understanding the nature of child sex abuse. In its final report, the Royal Commission added, as long as Jehovah's Witnesses organization continues to rely on the literal interpretation of the Bible and first century principles to set practice, policy, and procedure, and its response to allegations of child abuse, it will remain an organization that does not respond adequately to child sexual abuse and fails to protect children. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, you have to remember that just 300 years ago, there were 600 million people in the whole world. So victims numbers have to increase quickly in the last hundred years. So that's why I'm saying in the modern era, Amherst, I'm like, I'm saying, I'm saying 1950 forward. Let's just all take the same math that fucking, um, that France did. Let's just count 1950 onward. Sexual abuse by the world's religions, 1950 forward, right? If you didn't have your shit together by 1950, right? Like, it should be, like, we should be measuring this from 1950 forward. I, I really think so. So, are we for the next Crusades, Protestants and Catholics doing an entire world war? Oh, that'll be fun. Won't that be fun? Uh, fuck your back, bro. You're better than that. Uh, the current global population of over 1 billion people will likely have been sexually abused in a religious setting. One in seven. Where'd that number come from, Jack? 
<laughs> for the record, Hillsong is based on Kenneth Copeland's theological doctrine, uh, such as he has one. Oh, Copeland. Oh, Copeland. There's actually increasing calls for uh, eliminating fucking tax breaks for these idiots, finally, in this country. The hearing was sold in response to some of the Watchtower Society had produced 5,000 documents related to the allegations shot over for five. Um, each file for a different alleged perpetrator of child sexual abuse. Okay. Um, was told that in response to a summons issued by the commission, the Watchtower had produced 5,000 documents. Yeah, last I heard, though, they were, like, holding some back or something. They were in, like, contempt of court. Um, and Shalah and the tax breaks. Dude, yeah. I, I, I dude, the, the deal was you don't get taxed, you don't play politics, right? Like, you, the tax is the entry fee at the door. It's the gate fee. Like, if you want to play politics in this country, you have to pay money. That's just always been it in America, right? That's how it works. Taxes equals play. You pay some cash, you get to play the game. Fucking churches have been playing the game without paying the the entry, the gate, the ticket fee for like a long time. I like look, it's all neoliberal bullshit. But at the end of the day, motherfucker, like the Catholic Church and the fucking Southern Baptist Convention, all these motherfuckers. They've been, and especially these smaller fucking churches, these smaller goddamn churches, and by smaller, more independent, shall we say. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Calculating the rates of reported uh, child sexual abuse in the Catholic Church, Anglican Church, non-Anglican Protestant churches, Jehovah's Witnesses, Jewish denominations in the UK, then scaled the global population. So real rough napkin math. Okay. Um, all right. One in seven. Jesus Christ, one in seven. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not by the uh, so way. you know you prevent stress from triggering weight loss? I'm still eating and I was gaining slowly but steadily, uh, but I had stressful two weeks and lost five pounds. Wait, is there a way you know of to prevent stress from triggering weight loss? Eat more. Eat more. Um, Royal Commission, we did recommend that anyone didn't engage. <laughs> recommend that anyone who didn't engage with the restitution program they recommended should lose their tax-free status. And the LNP, who were in power at the time, the RC handed down the findings. Haven't done anything to of the event. Yeah, of course they haven't. Of course they haven't. I think it happens a lot more in impoverished nations, so it's probably higher. <laughs> Fucking bookworm. I mean, yeah. Like, if we had to take, if we start counting Africa, right? Like, just start looking at that. God knows. Uh, oh, good. Good, 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 good. Um, I, that's, that's, dude, Alex, I told you, like, fucking force feeding was going to just be a part of life. All right. I'm hungry. Oh, well, we Middle East like we already talked about the the Buddhist monasteries and shit like that and then the the Middle East we already fucking threw Islam in for all that. Um fuck you, fuck you, Wordy. You dad jokes. Um so yeah, I'm I'm fucking hungry. And I want to make food, and I want to eat, and I want to, like, do the, the, the thing that keeps the thing going, doing the thing. Kai Can has, has burger. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so we're going to raid over to Public Loser. Um, do my my speed patter, the auctioneer patter tonight. We're going to raid over to Public Loser, right? Like, my speed patter was on point tonight. Um, thanks for the follow. Uh, yeah, we're going to dump over to Public Loser. Uh, I love Public. They're good people. Um, Public is playing... What is Public playing? Public is playing Pathologic 2. Um, so, that's enough drugs for tonight. Uh, now, I'll, I'll make some food, smoke another bowl, and then hopefully pass out. But, yeah, thank you, Gemma. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make, but, like, dude... I'm hungry. Give me some chili. I'm gonna knock that out pretty quickly. Hey, monkeypox case is up to 71. Woo! We're all gonna die of mon uh, COVID monkeypox. COVID pox. Monkey COVID something. Um, 
Good game to everyone except for NB Carlson and Gay Spencer. Yeah, don't forget everybody. Tucker Carlson is non-binary now. Just, just remember that. Tucker Carlson is non-binary. Everyone, cheers. Have a great night.